Well, hello, hello, everyone. Ashanti Titus here, executive producer over at Grind Over Matter Films. I am here today with you to talk about some amazing news. Some of you may have saw it. If not, then you need to know that Natural Hair the Movie is now on All Black TV. If you don't have All Black TV, you can have a seven-day free trial. Just go on over there and, you know, sign up for that, and you can see Natural Hair the Movie. We're also on WeTV Plus as well, and you'll also get to see the beautiful Yvonne Williams, who is joining us today. <laughs> she was also in our film, and she she had some amazing points of view in relation to going natural. How are you today, Yvonne? I'm doing great. How are you? I am wonderful. You know, just maintaining and juggling everything. But I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Awesome. So, in the film, you spoke about your the process of going natural and talking about, like, how you actually... Going natural actually switched your viewpoints on health and everything like that. So, like, can you kind of talk about, I know, like, Jamie uh, mm -hmm. Jenkins or Jay Lachey, she talked about it before. She called it a natural hair portal. Like, once you decide to go natural, you start to become aware of the choices and be more conscious, health conscious. Can you kind of mm -hmm. talk about your journey as far as, you know, returning to natural? So, I wholeheartedly believe that, you know, once you are natural, you start making because who's to say just because your hair is natural you know you can't you know other other things in your life it's a lifestyle natural is not just it doesn't stop just at hair so and um if you think about it just like people say you are what you eat um if you eat bad foods you're gonna feel bad if you're if you're if you're taking care of your hair your hair is going to feel good it's going to be healthy so um i love that she said that and it's so so true um, me personally, uh, going natural, ooh, I don't even know what, when, <laughs> a long time ago, <laughs> back in 20, ooh, I want to say 2012. 2012, okay. Um, and I, you know, did a good, good shop and, um, it was something that was, yes, it was traumatic at the time because what I knew and what I held on to, it wasn't, it wasn't help. You know, it was something that was kind of bringing me down and, and weighing me down. Um, but once I made that switch, I learned that, you know, I, I was a healthier, I was a happier being, I felt free. Um, it just kind of really transformed my life for the better. Got it. Most definitely. I can definitely say the same when going natural or returning to natural, I think correct myself right. in 2010 it was a definitely a journey for sure and then it definitely made me question a lot of like what you know was I using and, and how was it affecting my health so I love the fact in the film that you talked about you know that aspect of things and then not only that but you also there was a couple of shots that we used of you as far as you know you were uh, for b-roll footage yes. and so people need to know that there's different avenues for actresses as well as you did some work behind the camera so we're going to get into that um some of you may or may not know about the series the wash series uh jared couch i believe he's the director and creator of that yes. um and we want to kind of talk a little bit about that if people haven't had the opportunity to see wash and you were an actress in that so tell me like what was that project like for you and you also like like on both lanes as far as being an actress and working behind the scenes yes so yeah washseries.com you guys if you haven't seen it go ahead and catch up so that you can see all the excitement that happened you will not be disappointed. Um, but as far as WASH goes, uh, I always say I stumbled into WASH because in season one, I was just asked to, you know, kind of be not an extra, but um, I was asked to be the hairstylist for Maya. And I went, I did it. And Jared was like, oh, we got to get you on the show. <laughs> so, um, Long story short, he called me back, but also noticed that when I was helping out with another scene, that I had a, a really keen eye for detail. And um, and it's it takes a lot because on different sets, you sometimes you can speak up about certain things. And sometimes you're like, oh, let me just, you know, I know that's out of place, but I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> but he was very receptive and, and, and saw that I had such a keen eye 
with um, design or, you know, um, had a keen eye on what would make the scene better. So season two, when season two came around, he called me back and said, would you like to do set design? And um, of course I said yes. And it was amazing. It was my first time doing set design. And um, I think I killed it. Um, I think <laughs> you, guys awesome. can go, you guys can go check it out too and see if I did. But it was a, it was a really thrilling experience just turning blank slates into you know wonderful creations um my the biggest thing <clears throat> for set design i think the biggest set was claire's office um a lot of people do say that uh it was it was it was an empty room but it turned into something you know so great so um acting as far as acting on washed it was crystal so um, I think both, you know, Crystal and being said design, they really, really helped me learn the ins and outs. And like you said, in front of the camera and behind the camera, and it all really plays together. You have to be in tune with the characters. You have to be in tune with what's going on behind the scenes in order to get the greatness for that production. That is so, so true. So I was like so excited when I saw like, because I did see that post when you were like doing the set design. So mm -hmm. I thought that was very, very cool. So what are you working on now? And I saw something with, uh, was it Corey Williams? Uh, it was a little sexy uh, little skit that he put together. What was that little, it was awesome. That was in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Like, can you tell me a little bit about that? What, what was that? A, what was that project? That was not in Mexico. But... Okay. <laughs> I that, that was pretty hot. <laughs> Well, um, he always says, uh, well, he's just like kind of asked me if we, we like, we like creating. So, um, we had talked about doing, you know, something, you know, keeping it modest. I'm like, well, I'm a modest person, you know, I can't be doing too, too much, you know, scandalous stuff. So we talked about him like, well, what about if we do this, this and that? So we were kind of just, you know, testing the waters and that's what came out of it. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun to do. We actually did that in an old uh, townhome that I had. <laughs> so yeah, we just kind of like again set design. So we just kind of like set it up and you know just kind of created. That that's so awesome. That so you did the set design on that too. Uh huh. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> We're going to see some great things from you. And I can't tell you how much that we appreciate you for being a part of this project. As you guys can see behind me, that's, hold on, which way? <laughs> there she is right there. <laughs> yeah. She's a part of the artwork and everybody, and I know AD probably told you before, like he has the poster up in his office at Universal and guys are like, ooh, who is that? <laughs> Did he tell you about that? No. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> but funny. yeah, he um he was saying that when guys come by, there's, you know, so I thought that was quite funny. So I was like, Let's, we need to bring her in and like just kind of catch up. So what projects are you working on now and what can we expect from you like in the future? Um, so currently, well, I'm about to actually go to uh, Austin for a commercial. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. So I'm just trying to keep, keep my air to the street and, you know, keep my, my chin high and catch everything that I can. I'm auditioning like crazy. I'm doing self-tapes, sending self-tapes in. So I'm just, you know, doing whatever I can on my end to put myself out there, put my best foot out there. Um, so what you can see from me is, um, more acting, um, taking on commercials. Uh, I've set a goal for myself to, you know, try to get some commercials under my belt, um, this year. So, you know, this will be the first one down for this year, um, and more to come, but, uh, I want to, I want to really kind of look and see who I can help it with set design here in Dallas. Cause we have a lot of talented people, a lot of talented directors. So, you know, any projects that, that come across, I'm going to, you know, pitch the best that I can to uh, allow me to decorate their, uh, their blank slate, their blank slate. For sure. <laughs> and we have a question here. Have you thought about moving to LA? Um, LA is always on the table, but 
at this moment, no. Um, I feel like I need, I want to make a name for myself here before I move, make a, make such a jump because LA is very saturated. And, um, if I move anywhere, it might be Atlanta before I move to LA. Okay. I want to dig into that. Why Atlanta versus LA? You want to tell the people? Sure. Um, Atlanta is less saturated than like LA or New York. Um, as you know, Atlanta is black Hollywood. And, um, I know a few casting directors in Atlanta, but they always, uh, want to book local. <laughs> so, uh, when I see that they're, you know, posting something for, you know, new pilot seasons and all that, they always say like, well, we need local talent and it's maybe during the school year. I can't commit to, you know, that long time in Atlanta. So best believe this summer, I'm going to be <laughs> looking out and seeing who I can work with out there. For sure. Now, what kind of goals do you have for your career? Like, what do you, where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years as far as in the industry and, and entertainment and all that? Oh, wow. Um, a lot of question. I, I feel in the next five to 10, hmm, it's hard to just put like a, by, by this time, I would have this under my belt because in this industry, you can, again, you can get a hundred no's before you get that, you know, that one role that's going to, you know, change your life. And I'm going to continue to, uh, to audition. I'm going to continue to, I have a agent, which I, which is something that I didn't have last year. So, uh, I got an agent again. Um, awesome. I'm working on, you know, getting, just getting back in the mix. One thing I want to do is really stay rooted in my work. So that means going to, uh, taking classes regularly so that I can really stay in it. Um, continuing to work on my craft. Uh, when it comes to set design, I want to, and I also didn't mention, but I do want to start staging houses. And um, I feel like that can go hand in hand. And I'm trying to, I was thinking about it all week. And I was like, what can I do to <laughs> right, yeah. out there and, you know, start staging houses and, and seeing how that can all be connected, getting with some folks, um, because I really do enjoy it. But um, whew, well, I have a lot, I have a lot on my plate. I would like to write again. Like I, I have <laughs> a lot of stuff that I need to accomplish. So I'd started a book last year and um, I, my goal is to try to finish it this year um so i can pitch it and ooh, it's, it's gonna be a great story <laughs> sounds sounds good sounds interesting i have a quick question it says do you have advice for people interested in becoming an actress um let's see i would say i would say really focus on if you want it to be a hobby or if you want it to be your career because that really deters how I can give advice. Um, there are a lot of people who, there are lots of lots of people who are interested in acting, um, but it's a difference when you want it as a hobby and you want, you know, want to make this your, your career path because it's a lot of dedication. Um, I would say go to take acting classes um, here in the DFW area there are plenty plenty really really talented people um who are also working actors that know a lot of um intel that might help you um do your research do you do your research um and if this is something that you really want stay motivated and don't don't give up 
For sure. I was going to say the the cool part about being in Texas is that we have so many different tax benefits and we have so many like people, creative people who are just like putting these projects together yeah. and putting them out despite, you know, mm -hmm. like not being in Hollywood. You don't necessarily need Hollywood in order to make a name for yourself or, or anything like that. So I love the fact that I mean, like just, you know, with even with this project and, and washed and seeing all these amazing different movies. I can even start to name them that were created or series. Yeah. So it's just amazing to be able to just like network and, and things like that um, just in Texas. So, I mean, Robert Rodriguez, he's a prime example in Austin, you know, of being able to create films and, you know, not having to flex and bend to the whims of Hollywood. So um, just because you're not necessarily in the in Hollywood doesn't mean that you can't create so that's one thing i just want to say about people who may be like sleeping on texas because there's going to be oh. has been and will be some amazing okay. more things coming out of texas so mm -hmm. we're going to make sure of that for sure um anything any advice or or anything else that you'd like to to say to the people um no i i believe that's it i would say if um you are interested in acting um just stay grounded, do your research, stay motivated, um, take acting classes, you know, and that way you can see if this is your true passion. If you want to make it something, try to make your passion your paycheck like me <laughs> or or um, if it's something that you just truly enjoy and you want it as a hobby. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, well, you definitely heard it. Thank you so much, Yvonne, for your time. Thank yes. you for lending us your talents as being a part of this film. Uh, we definitely appreciate you and uh, being a part of this. And it's just been an amazing ride just going from concept to now being, you know, finally, you know, on a streaming platform. Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much. And we wish you nothing but the best and success. And we can't wait to see more work from you. Aww, thank you guys thank you yes thank you well you guys have an amazing day amazing weekend and then next week we will be joined with crystal garrett and she's going to be um enlightening us on some of the things that she's been working on um all right and so next time stay beautiful and stay great bye y'all bye